Hello again guys and welcome to my channel. In this one I'm gonna cover for loop in the flow control series and see what it does and how it's used. For loop is basically a way to repeat a bunch of functions a certain number of times. The number is finite because we cannot repeat something forever. That will cause problems for us so we define a certain number which we want our functions to repeat and after that we want to end our loop. Okay, let's search for loop and here you can find it under flow controls. Here in the block you have first index, last index, loop body, index as an output and completed. When it's executed what is going to happen is that it will loop and repeat the function here until it meets the requirements we define in the first and last index. Okay, let's just set it with a print string to see exactly how it works. Let's type looping in the print string and now what will happen is that it will execute this function only one time because it's going to start at zero and end at zero as well. If I put the last index say on three, it will run the function four times, which is index zero, one, two, and three, which is the last one. You can also use the index as an output and connect it to the print string. This way you will have index numbers on the screen instead of the text you put in the print string. The next thing you should know is that when it finishes the looping, it will execute the completed output. For example, let's say that we have four loops here, which is from index 0 to 3, and then after we are done, we want to print looping is done. Let's add the print string and type looping is done and also change the color. The flow here is that on event begin play, we go to the loop and execute this function here four times, which is determined by the first and last index values here, and then after we are done, the completed output will be executed and run whatever is connected to it, which in this case is printing looping is done. Of course, you can continue your chain of events from this node here. For example, let's add another print string and say the flow continues from here. You can see that it's executed after its previous print string. You can also add more nodes here in the loop and obviously you are not limited to only one action. You can have a very big and complicated logic here and it will be repeated from here until it's finished based on the number of repetition you define in the for loop block. For example, let's add another print string and type one with green color. Let's compile and now you can see that it will be executed right after our first function and after the loop is done, it will go to the complete output and finish the loop. And of course you can make an integer variable and control the first and last index with it. Yeah, and that's it for this one. If it helped you learn something new, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching, see you in the next one.